Hey everyone, General Scar here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get mods in Minecraft. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is get a mod, and you'll find if you Google Mi released mods or Minecraft mods or something, uh, you'll you'll come to this page here, released mods of Minecraft, and it'll have all these different mods for Minecraft that people have made. So you're going to want to go find one and find the download link. See if you like it first and download it. Um, I already downloaded this one. So another thing that this mod and most other mods need is mod loader. So uh, this will be in the description as long along with the other one. Just save this. Most uh, Minecraft mods will have a download link to AdFly which gives the creator of the mod money every time that the link is clicked. So that's a good thing for them, I guess, if you can take five seconds out of your day. So anyway, just gonna close this here. And now we're going to be extracting these files. Extract files. Okay. Now, um, I already have a Minecraft uh, folder shortcut here, but if you don't, you're going to want to go to your search bar and type in percent app data percent and you'll find roaming and here you'll come find dot minecraft and then you'll come to this folder here so we're going to want to open the bin folder and with um, some sort of encryption software or something or archiving thing uh, you're going to want to open the minecraft dot jar 7zip and winrar are both free and work and then you're going to want to come over and open your mods that you've gotten. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do in the .jar file is delete the meta-inf inf folder. And that won't do anything at all, so don't worry about that. And then you're going to want to drag, drag and drop all the class files from the mod folder to the uh, .jar and then same here. Some mods will have different uh, ways of how you have to install them and have different uh, areas that aren't in the jar that you have to put uh, Minecraft some stuff in and uh, those will have readme files on how to do that so if they're different like that then you want to read those files Another thing is not to download like tons and tons of mods because sometimes uh, block IDs interfere or um, overlap and have the same IDs and that'll screw the game up. So uh, you don't want to do that. There are some mods that can prevent that, but just try to avoid getting mods that you don't need or don't really really like or anything like that. And you should be a good for that. So I will see you in my next video. Yay.